and look, this transitions me to my next topic, Marlon Wayne's. Marlon Wayne says he tried hypnosis on his son to stop him from transitioning. So Marlon Wayne's, as we all know, he had this huge LGBT photo shoot. Mm-hmm. And people were going, what the fuck? What that is this about? crazy, man. Oh, I'm supporting my kid. Very controversial. We did a take on it. Go watch that video, then come back. Now it comes out that he wasn't in agreement with it. Mm-mm. He... Like any heterosexual man, probably felt like a failure as a father. Like, God damn. My son? No way. What can I do to change this? Fuck it. Let's try hypnosis. Shit didn't work. So Nigga gave that nigga lobotomy. (laughs) (laughs) Did the nigga hit him with one of these? (laughs) Hell no. You will not be gay. Yeah, that's crazy. At the end of the day, it didn't work. And he just came to accept it. And he came out publicly, had the photo shoot with the rainbow and everything, I guess, to show his son. Now <laughs> that I apologize, because at yeah. first we like, oh, damn, nigga, you could support your son. But it did not make sense. Now it's starting to make sense. He probably ostracized his son in the process. He was going too hard on him. Made him feel less than. And this was his way of apologizing after the hypnosis didn't work. This was a way of... Him clearing his conscience. Mm-hmm. This wasn't really to support anything of all. I'm support because it didn't make sense. Nigga, if you support your son, go support him in real life. Mm-hmm. We don't need to know about it. You don't need a photo shoot to do all of that. So now it looks like this was to clear his conscience. That's exactly what it was. He's overcompensating at that point because he knows maybe he was overly hard about it, you know, and then he knows at the end of the day, this is going to come out and people are going to know my son is what he is, right? Whatever that is. And he has to, you know what I mean, be okay with that. If not, that's people probably peeking into his dirty laundry. And then once they do find out some of the things that he may have done to try to get his son to stay that way in Hollywood, that's frowned upon. You damn near Ooh. a devil if you talking about you you did hypnosis. So him, <laughs> him, but the way he did it and came out about it is on some therapist shit. Like I'm just, you know, letting this off my chest. And he already did the photo shoot. And so it doesn't hit as hard as it would have if we would have just found this out it would have been a different situation finding mm. out Marlon Wayans was doing that behind closed doors. So I think they set it up right um, for him to do it. It's crazy because we smelled bullshit from the jump, but we didn't necessarily know what it was. We knew it was performative off the rip, but we was like, what? It could be this, it could be that. But now it really does make sense. It was because behind closed doors before that, he was going, he was on 10. No, facts. Yeah. Facts, facts. Like we he, called, he, we literally called it from the jump. So everybody who was all, oh, y'all homophobic and all that, we need apologies. Because we <laughs> called it from the jump. We smelled the bullshit from the jump. It never made sense from the jump. Now we piecing two and two. Oh, okay, that's what it was. All right, you went hard on him. Probably damn near disowned the nigga. Damn near did some black magic voodoo shit on cub. Mm-hmm. You probably I, had fucking cutting chicken heads off and all type of shit. Nothing worked. I you did the know, hypnosis, didn't work. I, no, I want to just know why, like, he even came out with it it was like we would have never had like magic johnson for instance magic johnson's for instance like you see his son his son's 6'10 walking around whatever i've never seen magic johnson do a photo shoot or i've never seen magic johnson come out and say you know i tried to keep my son from being gay or from whatever the case is so i feel like i don't understand what is what was even the point of coming out and doing the photo shoot to then after come out and then tell us this shit that nobody really needed to but know. you got to realize, he's in Hollywood. Yeah, somebody might so find out. So if that got out... It's a wrap, yeah. Gays run Hollywood, allegedly. That's, yeah, that's how... Yeah. So they come to find out you're an actor and you're homophobic? You doing this to your son? Mm. Career damn near basically over. Yeah, and you did white chicks, I so, believe. So. so maybe his publicist... His agent, somebody said, we need to get ahead of this because mm-hmm. this is going to get out and this is going to be the end of your fucking career. They're looking at Boosie like, you know, if, if say, his son feels, you know what I mean, hurt and he goes to the public. That could happen, yeah. So let's nip this now before we see that situation play out for us as well. That's low-key probably what it was, yeah. That, that's a little bit what yeah. it was. Clear his ego and the, the, the clear for his career. Look, I stand with y'all. I'm good with y'all. I, I need white chicks too. So three, four, five. We can't say for certain, but do you feel Allegedly. like? Yeah, but do, do, no. Do you feel like he supports it for real? Fuck no. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. No, like, now that nigga, you know this, do you feel like it's, if it's you even... did hypnosis? <laughs> that's that's not even some shit I would have thought of. <laughs> yeah, you tried crazy. to 
MK Ultra the little nigga. Yeah. The, you tried to MK Ultra the gay out the nigga. That's, that's There's the no same. way you support it. <laughs> like that's about as extreme as it gets. Yeah. Yeah. You tried to men in black wipe the nigga memory clean. clean. Yeah. That's like, I don't know. <laughs> you really had to that makes you wonder what he was, you know what I mean? What else was going on? Because that must have been the final straw or the camel that broke the or the straw that broke the camel's back. So I'm just wondering like what what else led up to that? But that shit is crazy. I, I ain't never heard of some shit like that. Because for years it was rumors that Marlon was gay. Yeah. Like, bro, this nigga playing this gay shit a little a little too good. Yeah. I, and I, I I've seen that as well. I have seen those rumors. So I'm like, to hear this come out, I, I don't know. I'm like, this for sure. It was performative. <laughs> he got ahead of it. I don't think too many people are realizing what he was trying to do. You know what I mean? I don't think people, I think most people are looking at it like, man, go Marlon. Like, this is great. You know what I mean? When we looking at it kind of like, nigga, we see through that bullshit. Exactly. Because it didn't make sense. Yeah. I support my kids and everything they do. It's not on the fucking internet, though. Yeah. Only yeah. time I you're gonna really see it, oh my my son scored a touchdown. I'm gonna post a touchdown or something like that. But for the most part, I'm not posting the back to school nights, the practices, the the checking the grades and all of that type of shit, the, the taking them out on weekends. That's everyday life. That's yeah. everyday fucking life. Yeah. Supporting yeah. your kid, that's your job. <laughs> you brought them here. Yeah. So once you plaster it like that, okay, you're doing this for a reason. Cause it was no reason. To put a half fucking rainbow mask on. Because <laughs> your son's gay. And some silver pants. That and shit was crazy. And some silver fucking hammer pants, nigga, in <laughs> rainbow Chuck E. Cheese balloons. Now we figured it out. Yeah, that's wild, man. You, you, was you doing tried the most. to fucking public enemy number one, that little nigga. You tried to wipe his fucking memory. What's that damn movie Man, with the, candidate, Man, Candidate. Man, Candidate, the little nigga. What? Nigga tried to end him. God damn. Put a you, whole new brain that in that nigga. That nigga whole shit probably <laughs> deep fried, nigga. Yeah, he the fucked fuck? for sure. That's crazy. I'm like, <laughs> it's the type of shit niggas do in Hollywood is wild. Yeah, bro, niggas that got... is crazy. That's not even some shit I would have thought about. <laughs> Damn, I don't know, Marlon. I'm, I don't know, man. But you know, if 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 you feel better about it, then it works for you. But we we see through the bullshit. I see through it. I'm like, that, that, it's no way, and we knew it. Borrow away strikes again, man. We 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 hundred on hundred with this shit. We telling the future more than the Simpsons, man. Come man, on. God damn, we predicting this shit. Shout out to Marlon though, but boy, you you wild for that one, gang. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. you crazy as hell. And just to casually <laughs> throw that out there, like you yeah. wild, nigga. He waited till the fans got on his side with the Vlad shit, mm -hmm. did the Shay Shay shit. Oh, by the way, I tried to hypnotize my gay son. <laughs> yeah, but uh. <laughs> Back to Vlad. Yeah, like, yeah, come yeah. On, like, girl. okay. And, and, niggas, and niggas ate it up. He was successful with it, though. I will say that. Man, say shout that. out to Marlon. That's crazy. Yeah, shout out Marlon. Y'all share, like, subscribe to the channel. We out of here. <laughs> Bam.